But do you have the good type or the bad type? It's because you ate too much sugar. Oh yeah, my dog's got diabetes. <laughs> oh, I could never inject myself. Oh. Well, what if it's a matter of life and death? I could inject myself. Mm -hmm. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, this is the classic of all classics. Should you be eating that? Yes, I can. Pass me the chocolate biscuits. Exactly. I'll have 12, in fact. Yeah. So should you be eating that? Probably yeah. not. Whatever you're about to stuff into your mouth. The government recommends yeah. the same yeah. guideline daily yeah. amounts for every person yeah. in the UK. So I why are we different? I saw you trans fair yesterday. I didn't Ooh. say anything. I've had somebody say, um, should you be eating that? And then they went on to say, because um, my dog's actually diabetic and we don't give him chocolate. People become nutritionists, paediatrians, you know what I mean? Consultants, diabetic gurus. You can drink booze, you can eat really bad pizzas and carby dishes and stuff, but you've just got to know how to look after it when it comes to your insulin. Yes, I can. You can. I can. Yeah. I am. <laughs> carry needles around in your bag? If you said that to a diabetic, they're probably going to say yes. Yeah. Otherwise I'll be at home all day and all night. I do it like this, I go... <laughs> you saw my bag, it was like Mary Poppins out there. So my one's got like loads of crazy colours and it's got lots of different compartments that. where I keep everything. And your pump has a special thing. Exactly. Where I've got a fancy boring basil over here. I carry needles for um, my insulin pen injections and I carry a little cartridge of needles for my finger pricker. So I've got a reservoir to refill my pump. Something sweet in case you go hypo. I've got spare insulin to refill it if I need to when I'm out. And there'll be a snack uh, in case you kind of miss a meal. I've got a pen in case my pump stops Ooh, that's working. An old club, look at that. My dream in life, well, one of my dreams, is to just leave the house with nothing on me. <laughs> have the bad type. What's the good one? Is it the one where you've got too much sugar or that's, too little that's sugar? That's a cracker. There's this idea that there is a type of diabetes that you can just live with fine, you know, maybe you just have to watch what you eat a little bit and you just go through life and everything's mm -hmm. fine and, and you don't have to worry about anything. There isn't a type of diabetes like that. You know, they're both rubbish. Yeah, they're both Type crap, 2 yeah. isn't always caused by bad No, no, lifestyle. it's not, no, it's not. So while there is this kind of like battleground and I, I'm always the first one in there trying to explain the difference, I always try and be yeah. like respectful. Yeah, and, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's either you have a very restricted diet yeah. and you take tablets of mm. insulin, or you have, can eat what you want but inject insulin. Mm -hmm. It can affect your gut, it can affect um, your limbs and your nerves and your feet and your legs. Even down to your mental health, it can affect your health. 100% mm -hmm. affects your mental health. I've had doctors and nurses say to me that the difference between type 1 and 2 doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, they'll be like, oh, you, you, you have diabetes. I'll be like, yeah, type 1. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, whatever. There's no good diabetes. No, there's not. Nobody's heard of good diabetes. <laughs> I'd have that if it, was, if it existed. I guess you can't get drunk then. Yeah. It doesn't stop me. I mean, no. I don't get trash. I like a drink here or there, I tell ya. I personally don't for other reasons, but... Yeah, but it's not enough to do your diabetes. I mean, it has in a sense just because it's a massive faff. Well, I like actually drinking wine with a meal because it mm. helps stabilize my, my blood sugar. Yeah, I used to use it as an excuse to <laughs> make my daily glass of wine. Do it carefully and always make sure you've got dextrose in your pocket. And make sure the people who you're out who with you're out know. with know. Yeah. And you've got a medical alert on. But yeah, we can get drunk. Oh, I could never inject myself. Oh my god. Yeah, I hate this one because it's like if You'd it came have to, to it, you would. Well, if I didn't inject myself, I would die. It's not a hobby. Yeah, it's like, not something I enjoy doing. I'm just mum's going it's, out to, do, yeah, to, to inject. Do All right, <laughs> exactly. I'll be back later. I'll often be like in the staff room at work and I'll be like getting something ready, like an injection or getting ready to change my pump and they'll come and they'll be like, are you taking drugs? And I'll be like, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, I am actually. Yeah, hi, here I am yeah. taking drugs. Thanks for pointing really out. Really openly taking the drugs. Yeah. I still don't really inject in public. No, no, no. Like, I mean, I do sometimes and I, I don't really care what people think. I don't really care. But the only thing that bothers me about it is not because people are going to know I'm diabetic. It's people thinking it's something else. The injections became sort of quite natural to me quite yeah, quickly. Yeah. And it was just like, okay, yeah, you do that. But it was all the um, the mental side of it mm. and all the um, the calculating before a meal. Yeah. You know, you have your cereal or whatever, you've got, to, you've got to weigh it. You've got to weigh your cereal. Imagine doing that every day. So I've got to work out everything that I'm planning mm. to eat in this meal. And so you can't inject for one thing and then get halfway through what you, what you said you're going to eat and go, 
oh, I'm not hungry anymore, yeah. I'm full. Yeah. You go, well, you've injected that, so you will eat it. Right. <laughs> One of my best friends once said to me, um, he said, did you eat too many sweets when you were a kid? Oh, I was actually involved in a really uh, horrible crash where I was crushed under kilos of sugar and that's how I actually got diabetes. Most diabetes headlines are about type 2, yeah. are about people being obese and that's what diabetes has been lumped in with. All the inferences that they caused it themselves, um, there's a lot of blame, there's so much blame around. I've had somebody say like, oh you must be really annoyed with your parents about that. But I like to explain that, you know what, no it's not because of I've eaten lots of sugar or I just eat anything, it's because it's in my genes. You know, I'm allowed to be annoyed with my dad because it was hereditary, so it was his fault, as well as being ginger. I think it does make life harder, to be honest, but I think it also makes you a stronger person. Definitely makes you I mean, stronger. To be, able, to be able to deal with what we have to deal with day in, day out, and knowing it's going to go on probably for the rest of our lives is, is something that if we can keep going, if we can deal with that, then I reckon we can deal with anything, right? High five. Oh, I'm just getting a bit emotional here.